Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if you can see those guys up there, but I got some honeybees right in my driveway. It's very convenient for a beekeeper. Um, that's been a, a bee tree, you know, for years it's had a hole in it that bees have gotten into on a numerous occasions. And I've always wanted to get them trapped out of there. I don't want to cut the tree down because I like having, having it collect bees, you know, now and again. So pretty soon I'm gonna have to deal with that. But today, back to the front of the house. Uh, in the last episode, I, I finished off a wall and built a door and put a door in it. Well, I did it again. <laughs> I figured I didn't need to record me building another wall and putting another door in. So I went ahead and didn't record that. So I've got the front door put in now. There's the wall that I built last time with the door that I put in last time. And now, hopefully this isn't too dark in here, but now I need to just start removing all of this because really this uh, entrance is going to be a nice big archway and maybe we can see it better from the other side. But uh, yeah, this is going to be the entrance and it's going to be a nice archway across here just with one beam in the corner. Um, and that's just the plan. And then over here, this wall I think is going to be like a, a half wall with some shelves or something in that. So if someone walks in the door and you're in this part of the house, you can... You can still see into the, the little entrance or, or boot room. But, uh, so for this video, get ready. I get to do some destruction. Let's get going. Well, okay, now you have a better idea what I'm talking about. It was hard to see before, but uh, with building that up, it really just extends this little entranceway into the house. I still have some work to do though. Uh, for one thing, we've got a little bit of wiring in here. Uh, that's, that was just an outlet down there, it was temporary, so I can uh, just unwire the outlet. Now, when I wired in the, uh, the ceiling fan up there, I wasn't sure exactly where this wall was going to be, so I left myself quite a bit of uh, cord just in case I knew, or just in case I did have to move that at some point in time. So that light can get moved, which is nice. I feel like it may end up going on this corner. You know, this is where the archway will be here. I think it may end up going there. I'm not sure, but uh, so I'll have to kill the power and just completely unwire that switch and pull it back up through that uh, top post. The rest of this wall needs to be removed. And uh, my main issue, ah, back down here. My main issue is, uh, if you guys watched a couple videos ago where I did this, uh, n the new uh, foundation here and put the new sill plate on, I had the old timber that was there when it was built was quite rotted away. Now, I've realized that it continues to be a little bit rotted going in here to the house. Now, this is a main support column. You can see all the way up there, it's a main support column. And since it was put on, um, I actually had a crew come in and do that. And they didn't put it down to the foundation, they put it on this timber. And since it was put on that and it was rotted, this whole thing has sunk quite a bit. Um, and actually, if I look down here, you can actually see the new floor here and then the old floor down here this corner of floor has dropped uh, pretty close to three quarters of an inch 
Now it doesn't, I'm not really supporting a whole lot so I can bring it back up, but I need to support this uh, temporarily while I do the work in this corner and bring the floor back up. So I've got a lot of work to do, so I better be going. I'm back working on the project again. It's been a day or so. Uh, weather's been really nice, so I've been outside. But uh, I've got this section completely cleared out now, and I've put in a nice jack. And uh, unlike before, I used a car jack, and this one I've actually got uh, a nice screw jack, so it's a little bit safer. And uh, I've got all the weight off this post, as you can see. So I'm gonna jump down in here where they had put this post partially on a two by four and on one of the floor joists that runs across this floor. I'm gonna cut all this out and put a new post in that goes directly down to the foundation. Alright guys, we got the pole in and I would have to say not too shabby. Not too shabby. <laughs> it's the only straight thing in this house. But <laughs> I would say that's the biggest difficulty when working with an old house like this and uh, especially one that settled and sagged is everything is so crooked and you struggle to work with crooked things while adding stuff but wanting what you add to be you know straight and level so but now that we got that pole in I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna go ahead and remove the rest of this wall that you see here I'm gonna have to temporarily support that and then I'm gonna tie the wall into the pole and start to make my archway and that'll be that'll be it for this video but not done yet
there you have it ladies and gentlemen it's in I've got the beam in and the archway is ready it needs to be finished framed out and there's a couple little things I have to do I still have to fix the the unlevelness in the floor but this just proves that sometimes you just need a bigger hammer <laughs> but that's gonna do it for this video I hope so very much that you've enjoyed it and join me next time in this rotten old house. But until then, remember, keep it between the blazes.